All right, so this is an uh, introductory video to Elementary Studio, just kind of showing off some of the features and benefits and uh, usability of it. At the moment, it's still uh, very much in development, and it's slated for release in the beginning of March. So I'm just going to give you kind of a brief walkthrough as to uh, how it works. So this is the main window to Elementary Studio. You're greeted with a uh, basic welcome screen. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's meant to be pretty easy. Help people. Yeah, it, it's really meant to be very easy. So we're going to go ahead and start off with a new project. Um, we're going to create a project. We're going to choose, uh, for example, Vala. And we're going to use a, uh, a template here or a boilerplate of GTK Hello World. So we're just going to go ahead and um, pick out a name, things like that. I apologize for any sound on the keyboard typing, things like that. Um, I'm using my laptop's onboard microphone, so that's the only microphone I have. So, uh, Elementary Studio is basically going to have a basic file header, which is your licensing and the developer information. It's going to be at the top of every file created within Elementary Studio, so that's where you fill this out. So now we're going to go ahead and load the project up. So this is going to be the screen basically when you load a project up. Uh, it's the basic, pretty much the basic screen as to everything is. you got your, your file manager and things over here on the side to go through and look at all your files and everything. Um, we're just going to go ahead and open up the main Vala file. So this kind of gives you uh, an example. This is a basic Hello World application based off uh, Granite. You'll probably not recognize it from one of my tutorials. Uh, pretty much everything's here. You've got the uh, couple buttons down here in the bottom left hand corner. This is for deploying your project. This is for the, uh, the adding a new file. So we can add a new file in our project. Uh, we can also use a boiler file which is basically a pre-made file that you just you know recyclable code things like that. Those are you basically throw those boiler files and boiler projects in a in a directory and the system automatically picks them up on launch. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that as is, but it does indeed work. Uh, another thing that I want to show you is uh, we're going to have some deployment options coming up, which is going to be down here. One of the goals of Elementary Studio is to have multiple develop multiple deployment options, uh, which means that you can add in a uh, GitHub, a you know Launchpad, FTP server, all kinds of backup options you want to do, or build servers, for example. And uh, you can choose it by clicking down here in the corner, and this little pop-up is going to pop up and show you the ones that you have set up. I have a couple set up in here, but uh, this is still very much being worked on. So, for example, here's a, like for example, an FTP server that's set up. So, we'll just go ahead and get that, select that, and then you would choose uh, deploy your project. Unfortunately, that's not completed at the moment, so I'm not going to give you a run through of that. Uh, down here, we do have the uh, couple buttons we have this we have the main view button we have a console button and then this button over here is for tasks so I'll go ahead and close the console we'll go ahead and build this application and give it a shot so I'll just click this uh, this play button up here should go ahead and build our project and uh, as we can see it's built the project and go ahead and launch it and there's our granite hello world so uh, there's a couple different things you know, we're working on the, uh, basically, it's still under development, set up for release in the beginning of March. There's still many things that are left to do and left to get done, but I'd like to think that we're doing some, getting some pretty good traction on it. So look for it at the uh, beginning of March. Thank you.